They may be small, yet stamps are big business. We make tens of millions here in the UK, but over in America, they churn out over 40 billion every year. Ashton Potter in New York State is one of only three companies authorized to print America's postage stamps. Here they are making a new stamp featuring America's iconic Mount Rushmore. Making that design into a four-color image is the first step. Transferring that image to an aluminium plate is next, one plate for each color. These four plates create the final stamp design when combined together. But it's a pretty big leap from computer to metal plate. An extremely high-resolution printer renders the image with a special laser. And although you can hardly see it, the laser actually burns rows of Mount Rushmore's onto the aluminium. Every plate must get a stamp of approval before it starts printing. So an inspector looks for any defects and checks for an essential detail a tiny micro text image embedded in the design. It's a foolproof mark for telling real stamps from fakes and so small it's nearly impossible for forgers to copy. Now the plate is ready to start printing. And this isn't just any paper. It's a hefty 550 kilo roll with a sticky back that allows for peeling stamps off easily. It's four and a half kilometers long, but once loaded in, it'll be a giant roll of stamps in just 20 minutes. First step, those aluminum plates will stamp the stamps. Again, one color per plate. Printing stamps is just like publishing magazines or newspapers. Four colors are all you need. Black, cyan or light blue, magenta and yellow. They can create every shade imaginable by blending and layering these four colors in order. Each print run starts with black. Then cyan is added on. Next comes magenta. And finally, yellow. No messy precedents here. No smudging allowed. So at each color station, a little light is shed on the process. Ultraviolet light, to be exact. It supplies heat, drying the stamps. The millions of Mount Rushmore's are almost done. But hold on. Since these mighty mountains are now worth real money, protecting the image against forgery is essential. By coating the stamps with a unique phosphoric ink pattern, this high-tech imprint can only be seen with a special light, not the naked eye. It's not just forgers that Ashton is after. They're on the lookout for defects too. like printing plates that are out of alignment. Tiny adjustments are being made while the press stamps away. If a roll passes the grade, it contains about 6,300 sheets of stamps when completed. Face value, nearly five and a half million dollars. But before stamps bearing these giants can hit an envelope, they must be cut down to size. Sharp metal edges perforate a line between every stamp and then slice a small S pattern on the back, making each one easy to peel off. Inspectors must check on the process very carefully. One little slip and thousands of dollars worth of stamps can become so much waste paper. 
Carrying this long roll of stamps around in your pocket would be a touch impractical, so cutting it into small sheets is next. This process is also heavily scrutinised. The cameras spot any defective sheets, immediately routing them into the reject bin. But sheets of bad stamps aren't just tossed away, they're completely destroyed. There is money to be made by thieves selling defective stamps on the cheap, or by collectors turning tiny floors into big bucks. The Postal Service tracks each bad sheet, and then it's the guillotine. But this is only the beginning of the end. Next comes the shredder. But if being chopped, sliced and shredded isn't overkill enough, after all that, they go after the incinerator to be burned. Take that, faulty stamps! Meanwhile, sheets making the cut are collected into stacks of 400. Another quick quality control check ensures they meet the grade. Then it's time for more cutting and trimming. After one final inspection, the stamps are ready to go. Heat shrinks the plastic wrap to the stack like a second skin. This time around, the stamps are actually in the package, not on it, and ready to head off to post offices all over America. The entire Mount Rushmore commemorative run takes three and a half days and produces 50 million stamps. Total face value, more than a quarter of a billion dollars. That's a monumental payoff generated by something barely bigger than a thumbnail.